Hi ladies, I'm Natalia and welcome back to Fit Rebel. I hope you ladies are having a beautiful day today. As you can see, I am currently outside. I am in the beautiful city of Budapest. And I thought that today I would make a video about why I've decided to do this channel, why fitness has such an important role in my life, and why I truly believe that it can be a tool for many ladies out there to feel stronger and more confident and capable of many, many things. So I thought I'd go around Budapest today and share bits and pieces about my personal fitness story what got me started into fitness, why I like it so much, and all of that. And hopefully um, you'll get to know me a little better this way. So my fitness story began when I left university not feeling too confident in my body. I wasn't significantly overweight, but I had grown up being used to doing many sports, being extremely fit, and I was the opposite of fit leaving university. I did not feel good. So the first thing that I did was hit the gym. But of course, the first thing that attracted me when doing that was the cardio machine, since that's what most girls were doing then. I also added in a few plank exercises, a few abs here and there, but it mainly consisted in hour-long cardio sessions repeatedly throughout the week. And over time, after so much work of going to the gym, spending so much time doing cardio, trying to eat well, all of these things, I wasn't seeing that big of a difference. There was an improvement, but just not what I was looking for. Luckily, instead of getting completely discouraged by the gym, which is what happens to a lot of people, unfortunately, I decided to inform myself properly on what exactly I was doing, what exactly I should have been doing to reach my goals, which of course is something I probably should have done to begin with. And what I found was weight training. But of course, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't immediately fall in love with weight training because I had so many just unfounded fears that everyone was gonna stare at me at the gym if I started lifting weights, that the gym was just full of testosterone and I wouldn't really fit in, or just fears that I would just get bulky and that this was not actually what I wanted. And so for a while I continued doing cardio, but I tested here and there some exercises relating to weight training. And as I did that, I started really enjoying it. And the more I did these exercises, the more confident I felt, and so the more exercises I tried, until I reached a certain point where my main gym sessions consisted in weight training. And before I knew it, I started seeing significant improvements, and I finally started to feel confident and good in my body. And to top it all off, I actually enjoy my gym sessions. I actually looked forward to it and planned for them and just really had a good time at the gym as opposed to before when I used to run for hours. And of course when I say that I reached the body that I was looking for, I don't mean that I reached a bikini model type body or that I started becoming a female bodybuilder. Because none of these are really my goals. My goal has been to find a body that I want for myself, that I will feel happy and confident in, and that's what I did, and that's what I still am now. This is a really beautiful spot. Cannot believe these buildings. So beautiful. So I love weight training for many, many reasons. The first one is great results and fast. Like I said before, by doing cardio, I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted and it was taking a while to see any results at all. With weight training, I really got to see results quickly, which also encouraged me to keep going. It also gives a sense of satisfaction because it feels like you're actually working for something and you're going somewhere. And at the end of the day, you end up in a body that you feel confident in. I also love weight training because it is, in a way, my form of therapy. And what I mean by that is that when I go to the gym and I'm feeling upset, stressed, the gym helps me to clear my mind. And when I leave, I'm feeling calm, cheerful, and relaxed, and feel like I can really face anything. I find it's just really powerful to have that because not only did you just go do something great for your body, but you also have strengthened your mind, and that's amazing. 
I used to suffer from insomnia in times of high stress. Since I've done weight training, it has reduced my overall levels of stress and has allowed me to sleep way better overall. Weight training is a complete sport, which has many benefits for your health, your morale, your physique, and it has taught me discipline, which I've been able to apply in many areas of my life, and also has created in me some sort of warrior mindset in which I have to achieve every goal, every objective that I have in my life, I have to reach it because I'm up against myself and I wanna improve myself every single day. And weight training is a great tool to do that. <laughs> Very nice people here in Budapest. I don't follow a very specific diet, I follow just a balanced diet that suits me with food that I enjoy eating by avoiding things like unhealthy snacks and alcohol. Of course this does mean that the once in a while cheap meal is much more enjoyable. Historically weight training has been associated with men and women have been expected to stay on the cardio machines and stick to doing some abs, when in fact this is not true. Weight training should be for everyone. Women should have every right to go in the gym and not feel intimidated and do what she wants for herself, even if that means having different goals. Weight training, after all, is something personal. It should be something for yourself, for you to feel confident and happy and proud of what you look like and what you feel like. There is so much content online about how to reach that bikini body in three months time or how to grow your butt or how to look attractive for guys when in fact it should really be all about yourself, about what you want for yourself, about your own confidence. And that confidence does not need to come from what other people say it should be. It should really come from underneath, from what you feel inside. And that is what I want to share with you and I believe that more women should use weight training as a tool to reach confidence and be proud of who they are and who they can be. Every woman has the right to feel strong. So join me in this fitness journey to become a confident woman, find a body that you are proud of and be the person that you want to be. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe for some more fitness advice on how to achieve the body that you want. Stay strong, ladies.